start of that and you'll feel amazing. But remember what we said, that's changing that vibration, the law, the law of effect, you're going to move to what you're going to attract that. Any thought of, this is a massive, any thought of worry, fear, disappointment or anxiety moves your dream further away. Mm. Powerful, powerful. I think these are probably the most powerful quotes I've learned over the last six months. You can't have a positive thought and a negative at the same time. Massive. How, how cool is that? How amazingly, if you know that this great power is going to respond to your energy and your thoughts, and we talked about how you create reality, then you just flip that again and choose a positive that's going to create a different outcome. And finally, um, when in a state of fear or anxiety, affirm, this is powerful, just affirm, try this, the younger people in here, my idea was already formed in the mind of universal spirit. It's already been, so why, don't worry about it. You ain't coming up with anything original, it's, it's there already. When you were born as babies, you know, that energy was there saying, well, yeah, off you go then, get on with it, because uh, go and get on with my, the jobs that I started. That's what we're all here for. That's why there's aeroplanes in the sky, because the Wright brothers said, well, I think we've got, I think we could probably fly up there. And it's, or, or is that what I'm like? Oh, great. So in a nutshell, that's, that's really some very powerful things that you can do to, uh, I think I'm going to very, <laughs> right, coming back again to thought, I have to share this with you. Very, very quick story. So I'll put it back on at the end of this, if that's okay. Um, um, that's a cloud. Yeah. You know, anyway. So, a quick story. Okay, going back to an example. Because you'll say, oh, it's all weird. They've got this Mr. Malik. Come on, where's the proof? Okay. So, a few years back, I um, went down to a seminar, met this lady who ran, worked for a company who invested in gold. You could buy a little bit of gold and network and sell gold. And anyway, I, I got involved with the company, a little bit. Of, you bought a bit of gold. In fact, I sold it all while back for £600. But anyway, so I bought a little bit of gold. And she was German. And she, and she Skyped me one night, so I, I invested in the company a little bit of money. And she said, oh, you must speak to this man called Helga. Um, he's in Norway and he's a businessman. He's, he was a millionaire in Norway once, but he's not the thing he is now. But he's, he's trying to get this company off the ground called... Um, I can't remember the company now. Anyway, and I thought, well, so I Skyped him, told him I was a teacher writing a book and the knowledge we're talking about. And he, he, great, great conversation. We sparked up, you know, a conversation. And on my vision board months before that, one of, we'll talk about vision board and maybe at the end, that practical element is going to be very important today that when you go, you don't just go away, you're all fired up, you get some practicality out of it. Testimonials from Mike himself. So I stuck on there a picture of a man sat at a desk because I was writing a book and I wanted somebody like to get the book and publish it. Uh, um, it's called um, You Have This Book in Your Hands for a Reason, which what Mike touched on, still not finished. And uh, so I thought, it'd be great. And, and, he'd be, and he'd sit there. And I could see it here, Mr. Din. I could see it. I could feel it there. It's already here. Another great truth. What did Jesus say? Before you've asked, I've answered. Powerful line. Before you've asked, that's answered. It's done. Everything, uh, Neil Donald Walsh said, everything you could ever possibly want is already here now. You simply need to become aware of it. Powerful. So I stuck on there, this picture, and look, he's, and I stuck a little speech board saying, wonderful. Got that off the internet, just typed in man, sat in office, cut it out, vision board. That's the picture he sent through to me, Helga, uh, a few months later when we started to, to connect. Now, you might think it was. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, well, it's better than that. No. Oh, no, 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 but check it out. You've got, you know, but it all seems hairy-fairy this, of course. If we go back down to that orange and go down the, well, the outside world's the cause and the effect. But hang on, we're talking about, the, yeah? Thought has got, there's thought, in, there's power in thought. When you have a thought, it don't just go, Pfft. it goes out into the universe. But there is no distance in the universe. It's all just one, it starts off the size of a pea. So doesn't that say that to get from one side of the pea to there is nothing? And there might be distance perception of it, but there's no actual distance there. So when you have a thought, yeah, and I, anyway, but check this out, right? It gets better. A few weeks later, he flew myself and my singer and Debbie and, and my singer's boyfriend, all expenses paid from Leeds Bradford Airport to Norway, drove us up into the mountains, and I did an inspirational seminar to about 50 people in his company, all expenses paid. We all go, and we go, don't we? Oh, that's, and that's how it works. Get emotionally involved in the idea. Just keep holding it. Learn the truth. Study and you'll get there. Um, and I think we've talked about the mirror. I think, I think we're really at that point now, which we do what to watch out for. Well, actually, let's quickly do that. What to watch out for. 
You know, oh, I don't believe in that. That's, you know, where's the proof? Or, you know, um, what? You're weird, you are. I once went to a wedding and I go up to the, to the bar to get a drink. And there was the, the, the best, the groom was there. And I, I said, oh, I was chatting away. And within seconds, he turned to me and said, you're a bit deep, you are. And he just walked away. <laughs> Couldn't cope with it. No, that's a true story. So you, you're going to find that there'll be people that will walk away. Um, but they're not, they're not getting flown out, all expenses paid. And that's, that, that started here. Now, my challenge this year, and this is me, share, we go back to the uh, piece of paper talking about self-actualization, uh, wearing your heart on your sleeve, being honest. In business now, I see one of the most powerful aspects is to have what's called vulnerability. So you share your vulnerability and you wait, you, you, you're honest. My challenge this year, gave up a £32,000 job and I don't have that sort of money coming in now, but I'll tell you one thing, if I do that, I can see exactly here what I want to do. I can feel it here burning like a fire in my heart. And it's to go out and inspire people. So they come back later on and they say, Tony, can I have a word a second? You, know, you said a few things there that are quite interesting. Can we do coffee together sometime? Oh, can you? Yeah, absolutely. Because we can't go, we'll get it in one day. Brilliant. And, then, and, it's, and people say, oh, Mr. Mallet, how could you give up education? This isn't giving up education. This is opening education up because these guys get this. They get it. There's a child in class drawing a picture on a piece of paper and the teacher comes over and says, what are you doing? And the child says, I'm drawing God. He says, well, how do you know what God looks like? And the child says, well, you don't know yet. I haven't finished it. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> these guys, we all know, we can learn loads from these guys, can't we? They're, they're, they're huge, just amazing. So uh, what to watch out for? That and this. <laughs> so go and find somebody that you can inspire you. And just go and study. They're all there. If Winston Churchill was sat here now, I'd say, yep. Winston Churchill said the next frontier is the frontier of the mind. It's true. That's going to be the next frontier. 75% of children in schools are saying education is not serving them anymore. What does that say? What does that say about what these guys need? We've got to tell them what they are. Because this young man, this young lady, in a few years' time, they might have to solve the ozone problem. They might have to come up with some... But they will do if you tell them that they've got infinite potential. And if they turn a little bit and kind of recognise that they're backed up, you think it's brilliant. You're sm why are you smiling? Because you know it's true. And you hold that mirror up and go, hey, this is what you are. And it's going to go, oh, am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, life. Okay. Massive. It's huge. Um, do you know how you said it's us guys that have to um, have this knowledge and that Solve the problem of the yeah. earth, it? Yeah. it was your, it was your we, generation that caused it. Which makes it even worse. Doesn't that make it worse? You know, but but you know, <laughs> wow. I mean, I talked to uh, other talks about divergent thinking and children with creative ideas. You know, and we never come up with anything ourselves. It's channeled. There's no. I, I don't. I'm a songwriter. Oh, tell you what. Let's quickly just to break the ice a bit because you're out. Um, let's talk. Let, this is a good link, and then we bring Mike in to talk about. Well, come on then, you guys at the front here. Come on, you're walking. I know you, some of you, I want to ask a question. What about, and we do our best to, uh, we ain't got it perfect, but we're trying to do our best to, to talk about. I think that's where the power of these, these Think to Thrive meetings will be in the future, is what Liz was talking about, would be connecting, uh, getting together, and just talking and sharing stories. And uh, so when I used to write songs, I can share this with you. When I used to write songs, I didn't think about the song. The, you know, that melody that comes up, I didn't think about it. I wrote a song from a wedding, and I, I didn't think, oh, I've got to write a song for the wedding. Right, let's put that bit there. That's, that's the other bit of cause and conditions. Let's put that there and that there. No, 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 no. It just, boom! Inspiration. Inspiration is Latin for no, entheos, is enthusiasm, which means to infuse the spirit. So you channel. You've all heard artists talk about that. Van Gogh, I see my dream and then I paint my dream. chord this one it's a beautiful chord we said about harmony didn't we earlier on I made that chord up actually it's just 
extended chord. So, you know, for music and playing the guitar was just, for me, my immediate connection to source. Because you can't deny the fact that art or artists have that link with, with enthusiasm. And, uh, and uh, thank you very much. And just, uh, but, but that's, that's where I go. So um, I think art is something we would never lose in schools. Because when you link in with the arts, you link in with spirit. And it's a vital part.